Greening the grid, facilitating the integration of renewable energy through balancing area cooperation. Power system operators must maintain balance between electricity supply and demand at all times. Increasing cooperation between balancing areas can reduce fluctuations in supply and demand and make it easier to maintain balance. How does it work? To understand enhanced cooperation, let's first look at how power systems with limited coordination typically operate today. Power system operators balance electricity supply and demand within geographic boundaries known as balancing areas. Each balancing area may include one or more load-serving entities, which are also commonly called utilities. Within those are numerous power producers, which may be owned independently or by the load-serving entity. In many locations, the balancing area authority balances supply and demand within the geographic boundary of the balancing area. In areas without organized markets, exchanges of energy typically occur through pre-negotiated bilateral contracts between the individual entities. Increasing coordination between balancing areas can promote more efficient flows of energy and aid in the integration of wind and solar into power systems. For example, wind generation may increase in one balancing area at the same time that it decreases in another. With cooperation, these changes could cancel each other out. Let's look at three common approaches to increasing coordination. Reserve sharing. One of the simplest methods of increasing coordination is reserve sharing. Power systems hold reserves to maintain reliability in the event of a plant failure or other unpredicted changes in supply and demand. Power system reserves prevent a single failure from triggering widespread outages. Sharing reserves between balancing areas means each balancing area can maintain less reserve capacity. This can lower system costs. Coordinated scheduling. A next step is coordinated scheduling over longer time frames. Coordinated scheduling helps increase efficiency and can lead to the planned exchange of energy, not just when an unscheduled event occurs. Balancing area authorities may establish a new central market, such as an energy imbalance market or an electronic brokerage platform, which facilitates bilateral exchanges. An energy imbalance market addresses real-time imbalances between energy supply and demand. Each load-serving entity in a balancing area sends to the market its projected demand for electricity and its available capacity, which is how much power its plants can generate. Through a computer model, the central market determines how to produce required electricity at least operating cost and instructs generators to increase or decrease production accordingly. This market can be particularly helpful in addressing unexpected changes from wind and solar generation. A centralized market can also facilitate bilateral exchanges through an electronic brokerage platform. Think eBay, but for power exchanges. The brokerage platform does not truly optimize dispatch, but it is a simple way to improve scheduling and dispatch. In this case, requests for and offers of power are shared through the brokerage platform. The transmission system operator, which in many cases is the balancing area authority, checks to ensure that sufficient transmission exists to allow the transaction. Once a transaction is agreed upon and approved, buyers and sellers exchange payments directly. Consolidated operation. The largest economic benefit from coordination is consolidated operation. This is the merging of two or more balancing areas into a single entity with a larger geographic footprint. Sometimes, a merged balancing area authority directs operations for the new balancing area. The power system is operated in the same manner as before, only now the ups and downs of generation and demand are smoothed over this larger area, and the balancing area authority has access to an even greater supply of resources to help maintain balance. Sometimes, the new entities within the merged balancing area may choose to run a regional transmission organization as a central hub for all transactions. Load-serving entities send load requests to the RTO. Power producers tell the RTO their generating capacity. And, as with the central market example earlier, a computer model determines how to produce the required electricity at least operating cost. And the RTO then instructs generators to increase or decrease production accordingly. With consolidated operations, the RTO optimizes the scheduling and dispatch of generation across all time scales. Greening the grid is easier with enhanced cooperation between balancing areas. Cooperation gives power system operators more tools for increasing operational flexibility 
and this can make it easier to integrate renewable energy. To learn more about Balancing Area Cooperation, see additional Greening the Grid resources at greeningthegrid.org.